Johnston Island portion of the 1962 Dominic Test Series, conducted by Joint Task Force 8, included two types of tests. One involved a number of high-altitude nuclear detonations carried aloft by various missiles launched from the island, and the other was a group of five airdrops over the ocean clear of the island, but within the Johnston Island danger area. The first of the Johnston Island high-altitude firings was Bluegill. Ignition of the propulsion system appeared normal. And liftoff was as programmed. The rain safety tracking radar lost track and it was necessary to destroy both missile and the warhead after a long flight on what was later analyzed to have been the correct trajectory. The next attempted high altitude shot was Starfish on the 19th of June. It too was unsuccessful. On the 8th of July, Starfish Prime, the second try at Starfish, was launched and was entirely successful. The warhead detonated at an altitude of 400 kilometers, 31 kilometers south of Johnston Island. On 25 July, the Thor vehicle for Blue Gill Prime had a one-of-a-kind casualty, diagnosed as a sticking fuel valve, which caused a fire at motor ignition. Both missile and warhead burned on the launching pad. Damage to the pad was extensive, as could be plainly seen next morning. Less visible, but more dangerous, was the long-life radioactive contamination of the pad area from the warhead. The remaining four events, Checkmate, Bluegill Triple Prime, Kingfish, and Tightrope, were all successful.